Well, Martha, we've uh, just been briefed in the last minute or two by the chief of police here in Cocoa Beach, who, who has given us a little bit of new information. <clears throat> Excuse me. This uh, he is calling again a death investigation and not a murder investigation. So let's get this man. Well, Jim Frank Wolf lived in the glass bank known for all of its windows. But if you look at the top section of the building, there are no windows. And now we can give you a rare look inside that part, a unique and The glass in the old glass bank is shattering to pieces. Hello everyone, welcome back to the story of what happened. Today we are going to be looking at an abandoned historic building located in Cocoa Beach, Florida. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment what you would like to see me talk about in my next video. The glass bank was a building located in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Considered by many to have been a Cocoa Beach landmark, the Federal Savings and Loan Building was built in 1961, giving the city a much-needed updated modern building in its skyline. The main reason the building was given the nickname the Glass Bank was because originally the structure was built with all glass windows around the entire exterior. The top floor was occupied by the popular Raymond's Rainbow Room, a restaurant, and a nightclub. The restaurant was known for hosting celebrities and politicians. As many years went on, concrete was added to the building's exterior, probably due to the hurricanes constantly hitting Florida's east end. The two tenants remaining in the building were Huntington Bank on the first floor, Atlantic Nautilus Fitness Center on the upper floors, and attorney Frank Wolf, who had built a penthouse atop of the building. After taking terrible damage in 2004 from Hurricane Francis, the buildings on the bottom floor were forced to move out, but Frank Wolf remained in his penthouse on the top floor. The building soon fell into disarray and the city became concerned with the vandalism and girding mold and asbestos. This prompted a legal altercation between Wolf and the Glass Bank Condominium Association, which oversaw the rest of the building and wanted it torn down. Despite the fact that the bottom half of the building was in despair, Wolf's penthouse was in incredible condition, cleaned and with running electricity. Following a years-long dispute about what to do with the building, a three-judge court panel affirmed that Wolf owed millions of dollars for fees and repairs to owner Joseph Yosefan. In January 2014, the Condo Association signed an agreement with Cocoa Beach officials that led to the demolishment of the building. The then-owners would have to pay back the cost of the, of the demolition within three years due to the current state of the building. Wolf rejected the proposal, but a court ruling in February cleared the way for the association to begin the foreclosure proceedings against Wolf. Unfortunately, Frank Wolf was found dead in front of the glass bank the day following the court hearing and an apparent suicide. The building has since been demolished and was replaced with nothing but an empty parking lot. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, please leave a like and comment down below on what you would like to see next. Thank you and uh, peace.